and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. This is from the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 1, from the Webster's Bible Translation. Welcome to our video on astrology chart revelations for Our Lady of Fatima, 101st anniversary for three shepherd children's fifth apparition of Blessed Virgin Mary in Fatima, Portugal for September 13th, 2018, which originally occurred on the 13th of the month of September in 1917, where there were reported to be somewhere between 20,000 and 30,000 bystanders praying the rosary, although some reports indicate even more observers who were present to witness the atmospheric phenomena as were attributed to be equivalent to the earlier apparitions. By the time, uh, by this particular date in 1917, there were many secular people and atheists also who were ridiculing the three children and the, they were child seers and telling jokes about the, the bystanders who were witnessing the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima. Nevertheless, a great number of observers gathered to see the September 13th visitation at the Cova da Iria on in, in, back in 1917. Now, please see my video entitled Astrology Chart, September 13th, 1917, Our Lady of Fatima, Fifth Apparition, Horoscope, Houses, Zodiac Angels, that's, that's the title, which was her fifth original appearance in 1917 to Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco. Now, first, we're going to give you our disclaimer. Watching this video or reading this document is an act of spiritual willpower, and any such action is considered magic. High magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. All right, um, now before we get started, uh, I am Pastor Rosemary, the astrologer angel, and I am a Rosicrucian seer, a biblical astrologer, a Christian psychic, a Gnostic mystic, and this is a readings by Rosemary angelic transmission. According to Catholic Catechism, the three children shepherdess, uh, shepherds, there was uh, shepherdess Lucia Santos, and Shepherdess Jacinta Marto and her brother Shepherd Francisco Marto were at the Cova da Iria, which was the selected location on the 13th of September in 1917, which was the appointed day where the Blessed Mother had instructed them to visit for Our Lady of Fatima's fifth visitation to these three children seers. The, the numerous bystanders reported that the atmosphere became suddenly and notably cooler with the, the sun dimming to the point that the evening stars could then be seen. A beautiful rain shower began which was said to be similar to a light snow or soft glimmering petals that were visible until they touched the earth. On this occasion the witnesses accounted seeing a luminous glow transiting gradually and regally through the sky from the direction of the, the east towards the west. As the apparition came to its finale, the shimmering orb then traveled in an opposing direction. The three shepherd children seers then stated that they witnessed a light which acted as a herald to the immediate appearance of Our Lady of Fatima above the familiar holm oak tree. Now Lucia's writings about the communication between the three seers and Our Lady of Fatima is reported to have progressed thusly. Lucia requested of Our Lady of Fatima, quote, what do you want of me, unquote. Our Lady of Fatima instructed the three shepherd children seers, quote, continue to pray the rosary every day to obtain the end of the war. In October, our Lord will also come as well as Our Lady of Sorrows and Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Saint Joseph will appear with the child Jesus to bless the world. God is pleased with your sacrifices, but he does not want you to sleep with the ropes. Wear them only during the day. See, uh, unquote. The, the, the children had been wearing cords 
around their waist as a sacrifice for sinners. Okay. Now, Lucia then asked Our Lady of Fatima, quote, They have requested me to ask you for many things. For the cure of some sick persons, of a little girl who is a deaf mute, unquote. Our Lady of Fatima uh, then replied, quote, Yes, she will improve within a year, unquote. Lucia supplicated again, quote, And about the conversions that some persons have requested and a cure for other sick ones? Unquote. Our Lady responded, quote, I will cure some, others not. In October, I will perform a miracle for all to believe. Unquote. After this, Our Lady of Fatima began rising up and then she disappeared in the same manner as she had previously, at which point Lucia said to the crowd of bystanders, quote, If you wish to see her, look, look. Unquote. Again, these are the teachings of Catholic Catechism instructors. Now let's take a look at September 13th, 2018 astrology chart I've prepared for you to commemorate and reveal this miraculous 101st anniversary of the, the fifth apparition of, of Our Lady of Fatima, uh, which is located in Portugal. Astrology for major aspects of the seven ancient planets on September 13th, 2018 in Fatima, Portugal, BST commemorating 101, the 101st uh, anniversary of Fifth Apparition of Our Lady of Fatima are as follows. So we're going to give you the, again, the, the seven ancient planets we're going to focus on. And we're going to give you the major uh, planetary aspects okay now on September 13 2018 the Sun will be in Virgo at 20 degrees 36 minutes in 10th horoscope house of social standing and fame planetary Archangel Michael Michael visits dwelling of zodiac angel Hamaliel so the Sun will be uh, in the sign here of Virgo the Virgin and also on that day moon in Scorpio at 9 degrees 27 minutes and 12th horoscope house of spirituality planetary Archangel Gabriel visits habitation of zodiac angel Barchiel moon in Scorpio here moon in Scorpio now let me um, give you a bit of a close-up here so you can see better well we'll give you a closer view and we'll also give you um, We'll darken it a bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, that should be able to, to see better now. Okay, so again, we have Sun in Virgo and we have Moon in Scorpio. Okay, that's September 13, 2018. Okay, now Mercury in Virgo at 13 degrees, 45 minutes in 10th horoscope house of social standing and fame. Planetary Archangel Raphael visits the boat of Zodiac Angel Hamaliel. So Virgo, uh, we have the planet Mercury in the sign of Virgo, the Virgin. Now Mercury rules Virgo. Virgo is the nighttime habitation of the planet Mercury. Mercury is associated with the Archangel Raphael and Virgo is associated with the Zodiac Angel Hamaliel. Okay? Venus in Scorpio at 2 degrees 46 minutes in 12th horoscope house of spirituality. Planetary Archangel Anael visits the of Zodiac Angel Barchiel. We have Venus, the planet Venus here, in the sign of Scorpio, the Scorpion. Okay, now Mars in Aquarius at 0 degrees 29 minutes in 3rd horoscope house of transportation and communication. Planetary Seraphim Samael visits habitation of Zodiac Angel Cambriel. So Mars in Aquarius. We have the planet Mars here in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, the water bearer. Now, although it's Aquarius, the water bearer, that is fixed air sign. Okay, but it's called Aquarius, the water bearer. We have Jupiter in Scorpio at 19 degrees, and that's one minute in first horoscope house of self and appearances. Planetary Archangel Satchiel visits abode of Zodiac Angel Barchiel. We have Jupiter, planet Jupiter in the sign of Scorpio, the scorpion. All right, the Saturn uh, planet Saturn 
in Capricorn, and Saturn does rule Capricorn. Very important. Saturn, uh, Saturn's nighttime abode is Capricorn. Okay, so uh, Saturn in Capricorn at two degrees, thirty-four minutes, in second horoscope house of money and possessions. Planetary Archangel Cassiel visits abode as Zodiac Angel Hanael. So we have Saturn in Capricorn, the planet Saturn in the sign of Capricorn, the goat. All right. Are, okay, now, regarding significant aspects of these seven ancient planets on September 13, 2018, these are the seven ancient planets and the significant aspects. Uh, some people may want to do some of the smaller aspects and some of the more uh, out, outer uh, planets, but we're sticking just for sanity's sake to the major planets, seven ancient planets and the major aspects. Now, Sun conjunct Mercury. So we have the Sun uh, con conjunct Mercury here in Virgo. Okay, We have Sun sextile Jupiter. The Sun in this green line here sextile Jupiter. We have Moon sextile Mercury. So we have the Moon uh, here sextile Mercury there on that green line. We have Moon conjunct Venus. We have the moon here conjunct the planet Venus, Scorpio. We have moon square Mars. So we have the moon here square Mars, Mars in Aquarius, and the moon in Scorpio, the red line squaring Mars. Okay? Then we have Mercury conjunct the sun. Mercury conjunct the sun in Virgo. We have Mercury sextile the moon. We have uh, Mercury here, sextile the moon, and that green line there. We have Venus conjunct the moon. Venus conjunct the moon here in Scorpio. We have Venus square Mars. We have Venus square Mars. Venus in Scorpio square Mars in Aquarius on the red line. We have Venus sextile Saturn. So we have Venus here, sextile Saturn. Here the green line, we have Venus in Scorpio, sextile Saturn in Capricorn. All right. And we have Mars square Pluto. Mars, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mars square the moon. I'm sorry, excuse me. Mars square the moon. Mars square Luna here. So we have Mars in Aquarius square uh, Luna or the, or the moon, which is in Scorpio. We have Mars square Venus. Mars uh, square Venus here. So we have two very close red lines here of Mars squaring the Moon and Mars squaring Venus. Okay, so the Moon uh, and Venus being in Scorpio and Mars being in Aquarius. Okay, and we have Jupiter sextile the Sun. Jupiter sextile the, the Sun here on that green line. And Saturn sextile Venus. We have uh, Saturn here, sextile Venus here. So we have Venus in Scorpio, sextile Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, sextile Venus in Scorpio, in that green line. Okay. Now the Hebrew calendar associations and zodiac, uh, remember the Hebrew for uh, zodiac is Maserat. The placements of the planets, September 13th, 2018. Uh, occurs on the 4th of uh, Tishri in the Hebrew year of 5779. Uh, as a point of interest, the Hebrew New Year that changes from year 5778 over to year 5779 being Rosh Hashanah occurs on September 10, uh, 2018, which is 1st of Tishri in year 5779. Tishri is month uh, number 7. Of Jewish of the Jewish calendar, Rosh Hashanah translates into being head of the year, and begins the high holy days. Okay, All right. So so we're going to give you now the Hebrew name for the planet, and the Hebrew constellation, the name of the Hebrew constellation of what we've just showed you. So Sun is Hama, and Sun Hama, and we have in Virgo or Betula. So Sun in Virgo. Hama in Betula, okay. Moon Lavana, Moon Lavana, 
uh, in Scorpio. Scorpio is a crab. That's that's the that's not the Hebrew, that's not the month. That is the Hebrew constellation. So Levana Moon in Scorpio a crab. So we have Levana in a crab. Okay. We have Mercury, which is planet Mercury is Kokav or Kokab, B and V or it, it, you can interchange them in Hebrew in Virgo. Betula. So we have the planet Mercury, which is Kokav in Virgo or Betula. Okay. Then we have Venus, which is pronounced um, for the the Hebrew name of the planet Venus is Noga. So Noga, we have Venus here in Noga in Scorpio or Acrab. Noga in Acrab. We have Mars, Ma'adim, Ma'adim, Mars in Aquarius, Delhi. Ma'adim in Delhi, Mars in Aquarius, Ma'adim in uh, Delhi. Now we have Jupiter, Zedek. Jupiter, Jupiter is Zedek uh, in Scorpio, a crab. Zedek in a crab. Okay, and Saturn, Shabbatai, Shabbatai in Capricorn, which is Getty. So Shabbatai in Getty. Okay, so that is the pronunciations uh, or the translation of the planet in Hebrew and the uh, the Hebrew constellation. All right, information found in this document is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us and please join us again.